There you go. So let us talk about directed graph. First of all, let's write down this uh, short definition. Definition of a relation on a set. So we say that a relation on, guys, you're just using one set, a relation on a set like A is a relation from A to itself to A. Okay. We're going to talk about directed graph. It's a graph that has direction. So this is a graph. With direction. What do I mean by that? Let us define this guy by some example. In this example, I give you A, set A to be the set including 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. This is my set A. We define a relation on A as follow. I'm saying that, hey, for all X and Ys, taken from the same set A, X is in relation with Y, if and only if two divides their difference, X minus Y. So relation R includes all points such that to divide their difference. So if you want to rewrite this, you can say that, hey, relation R is the set of all ordered pairs such that two divides their difference. Two is a factor of their difference. Okay, now we wanna graph this. What's the graph like? We want to graph this relation. So what are the members of this relation? First of all, let us find the values of the Cartesian product. A Cartesian product with A is going to be, well, Three, 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 four, three, five, three, six, three, seven, three, eight. And we're going to continue that for each of these members. Four, three, four, 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 five. Four six, four seven, four eight. Now we're going to move on to five. Five three, five four, five five, five six, five seven, five eight. What about six? Six three, six four. Six five, six six, six seven, and six eight. Now seven, seven three, seven four, seven five, seven six, seven seven, 
seven, eight, and finally we're down to eight, eight, three, eight, four, eight, five, eight, six, eight, seven, eight, and eight. So this is the Cartesian product between A and A. Now, what is R? Okay. R is a set of all points such that two is the factor of their difference. So let us start. Two divides zero, yes. Three and three is the first member in this set. Three and four, nope. Three and five, yes. Two divides, three minus five. So three and five. Three and six, nope. Three and seven, yes. Three and eight, nope, because the difference is five. Four and three, the difference is one. Four and four, yes, the difference is zero. Two divide zero. So we have four and four. Four and five, no. Four and six, yes. Four comma six. Four and seven, no. Four and eight, yes. The difference is even. Five and three, the difference is two. Five and four, nope. Five and five, yes. Five and seven, yes. So five and five, five and seven. Next up, six and four. Then we have six and six, six and eight, seven and three, well, seven and five. Seven and seven. Eight and four. Eight and six. Eight and eight. So very good. They have all the members listed here. If you would like to list them all, you can do this. There we go. Okay, now our goal is to graph this guy. We're going to use a directed graph. So for each value in this set, you're going to use a dot, a nod. And let me just write this here. We have a three, we have a four, we have a five, we have a six, we have a seven, and we have an eight. Very good. So let us begin. Three is connected to three. So you're going to put a loop on top of three. This is a loop. Three is connected to five from three going to five. Put an arrow starting from three going to five. Starting from three, going to seven, another arrow, directed line, four and four. So you're going to use a loop for four. Four and six, from four, going to six. Four to eight. Then you have five and three from five to eight. 
to three. So you had an arrow from three to five, now from five to three with the opposite direction. Five and five. Well, we're going to have a loop on five. Five and seven. Okay, from five going to seven. Six and four. From six to four, you already had one directed line. Now it's going to be in the opposite direction. Six and six. We're going to have a loop and six. Six to eight. Well, seven to three. You already had three to seven. Now seven to three. Seven to five. We had five to seven. Now seven to five. Go in the opposite direction. Seven to seven. You're going to have a loop on seven. Eight to four. Well, you had four to eight. Now eight to four in the opposite direction. Eight to six. Six to eight. Now eight to six in the opposite direction. And eight to eight which leads to a loop on eight. Look at this one is called the directed graph representing this relation.